how you architect and engineer kitchen cabinets to be strong and all these kinds of things are very similar to architecting software that would be very high quality and not have a lot of errors and not break. It's craftsmanship. Think about buying kitchen cabinets for your house. You bring somebody in, you explain what you want, what the utility needs to be, how big they need to be, how tall, all the different things. And then some craftsmen go back, they build whatever it is that needs to be done. They do have some freedom in how they actually architect those cabinets, maybe the type of materials they use. They can put in little, the little details that are maybe, vis some are visible and some are hidden that go into the craftsmanship. I think software engineering is very much that way. It's really a craft. It's a balance of best practices, all the different frameworks we use these days, and making the best judgment of which of those to use to solve the problem for the customer. We really want to champion the craftsmanship of what we do because it's not really quite an art or a science. And ultimately, we're building something for somebody else. I think that's the key thing to remember here.